I'm Mitzi and I'm with Bob and we're talking about one, finishing up our backyard project at Cypress, another DIY do-it-yourself and Bob's going to explain what the pergolo entailed to get this far and a little bit about what he's going to do next. So Bob, can you tell us how you did this in like uh, Cliff Notes version? Sure. First thing we had to do was uh, locate these four by six support posts and there's four of them here and these are in line directly with the edge of the house so they're lined up across here the second thing we did and when we put them in the ground of course we cemented them and the second thing we did is mounted these two by six uh, boards across here these beams to support the top pergola pieces of course when you do something a project like this it's smart if you can to use normal wood links so when we spaced out the pieces up above on a sunny day we laid them out on the driveway and we decided that 24 inch centers was too far apart even 18 inch centers so we went with 12 inch centers on these boards and I bought 12 foot 2 by 8 boards for the the top and that means a 12 foot cut in half is a 6 foot piece so we had no waste and that's real key to this kind of project the next thing we have to do is we're going to take some of this dirt out, we're going to put in some gravel base, some sand, and then we're going to put in free laid bricks like we did on the walkway, you may have seen in an earlier video, and that will have a slight slope away from here so water will drain away from the house, and we'll be right out to this front edge of here with free laid brick down here. Then, when all this is done, and next spring when we show this to you, we're going to be planting wisteria and climbing um, morning glories or whatever we haven't quite decided so this will be a lovely area and we're all about sanctuary spaces and places to unwind and outdoor living spaces are key to the 50 plus boomers we want and crave outdoor living so bob is doing a great job we're excited we're grateful and um, until the next time be boomer smart